So this narrative that we're seeing from the left about monkeypox already, um, that we heard Biden say everybody should be concerned, that, that's, that's, that's an insinuation that every person, regardless of your demographic, regardless of your age, your health condition, or your behavioral choices, is at equal risk of the monkeypox virus. And it doesn't look like that's true from the data, from the research, from the scientific knowledge that we have about monkeypox. Again, decades of knowledge because this is not new. It doesn't look like that everybody is at equal risk. It looks like behavior is one of the key determining factors about whether you will contract this virus or not. In fact, it seems that uh, monkeypox is spread primarily through sexual activity because it requires close, very close contact with someone else in order to contract this virus, someone who is symptomatic, who has this, you have to have very close contra- contact. So sexual activity is one of the primary ways that this is being spread. And, and one of the super spreader events was actually a gay and fetish festival in Belgium. Yes, so this is actually very reminiscent of what Fauci did in about the HIV AIDS crisis. He again, because he's a dinosaur, he's been working in the US government for decades. He was the one leading the charge in the government at at the time that the government was addressing the HIV AIDS um, crisis. And Fauci did the exact same thing. His public narrative was a fear-mongering narrative where he was insinuating or allowing people to believe because he wasn't painting the full picture accurately and intentionally he was doing that. He He was making it seem that every single person was at the same risk of contracting HIV and and therefore getting AIDS. Now, we know that that's not true. We know that people are at high risk of getting HIV if if they engage in homosexual sex behavior, if they are intravenous drug users, if they share needles, if, if they get somebody else's contaminated blood on an open wound of theirs. It's not just, oh, you know, a mom and her baby walking down the street and, and someone with AIDS coughs a mile away and, you know, she's at high risk of getting it. No, 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 not at all. And that's the same thing that's happening here. We already see it. So that's a red flag. That's red flag number one. When we hear Joe Biden say everyone should be concerned, well, that's already a false narrative because not everyone has an equal likelihood of contracting this. It's actually very, very tied to specific behavior.